I desire mercy and not sacrifice. Today's gospel passage from the gospel according to Matthew chapter 12 verse 1 to 8 it narrates the encounter of Jesus and his disciples with the Pharisees. The Pharisees challenge Jesus and question him about his disciples who have done what is not lawful to do on the Sabbath. And even up to date, this is a question that is ongoing, even after Jesus has explicitly answered it. That is because we have become like the Pharisees in the Gospel. The Pharisees questioned Jesus about his disciples who ate on the Sabbath. But then Jesus answers to them and say, I desire mercy and not sacrifice. As a culmination of so many explanations and so many references that he gives to them of the Old Testament and of the priests in the temple. And Jesus says, Have you not read that David did when he was hungry and those who were with him? How he entered the house of God and ate the showbread? But still the Pharisees continue grumbling and answering. They continue murmuring, for they are not satisfied with the answer that Jesus gives them. Same applies with us today. We are not satisfied with the answer that Jesus gives. But Jesus, as he says, that I desire mercy and not sacrifice, is to answer to us that we should not be considerate of the theories too much that we tend to forget the practicality of Jesus himself. We forget the practicality and we tend to focus more on theories. We look at so many theories and we try to make so many explanations without thinking of the practicality. Jesus here simply answers and says, He who is hungry cannot also serve. He who is hungry cannot also make a worthy prayer on the Sabbath unless somebody satisfies that desire. Then only they can fulfill the divine worship. And all these theories surpass the divine, they don't surpass the divine worship, but the divine worship surpasses all of these theories. But then these theories have to be clearly understood and clearly practiced. And that is why Jesus tells the, 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 the Pharisees that I desire mercy and not sacrifice. Even as today, let us not be Pharisees, but let us be satisfied with the answer Jesus gives us in the gospel today. As Jesus himself tells us that I am more than the temple. I am greater than the temple because the temple without Jesus is not a temple indeed. May God bless us.